Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this video is just going to be kind of a quick like explainer video. I feel like I need to explain a few things, mostly to my like old school original Instagram followers who uh, like, there was a turning point for me on Instagram where I transitioned from like building custom cars to changing my, even my handle on Instagram from Fortified Concepts, which was my custom car shop, to Beef Brody when as I phased out of doing cars. Uh, so we'll get into a little bit of story time, but this is what this video is about, to kind of explain to those guys like what happened and why all of a sudden like content changed and things like that. So I wanna give those people an opportunity to really understand what's going on um, on my Instagram page and things like that. If you're new here, you'll learn a whole lot about me and I, uh, I think it's gonna be fun and cool and exciting get a little bit of the backstory uh, from where I came from and where I'm at now and things like that. So, let's get into it. For like the last, I don't know, 12, 15 years, I've been building custom cars uh, up until about two years ago. And um, at the height of my career, and we were building like some of the coolest cars that we had ever built. Um, you know, really cool like trucks. Uh, you know, we did a, a 67 Volkswagen bus that went on to win a world record. Like all these things, we were doing the coolest stuff and I was at the height of my career, but it was also at the end of it and I knew I was at the end of it and we were trying to phase things out and I quit posting about a lot of it on Instagram because as I posted about that stuff, it just kind of opened the doors each time for more people to reach out to me, customers wanting things done, things like that. And I wasn't taking any new business because while I was doing those things, I was also in the process of building my company, which is Tactical Baby Gear. And we were building that in the background um, and it would continue to grow and grow and grow to where it made sense to just stop building cars financially, economically. It made zero sense for me to continue working on cars. And those of you who are watching this that come from the car world and are in that industry now how hard it can be how physically demanding that industry is how hard it is to make money in that industry how much stuff you end up doing for free all the time because somebody sent you a wrong part or a bad part or you're trying to warranty something out and all this stuff it's really really hard to get paid for all your time so i was like physically and mentally i was burnt out from it to be completely honest so my other business, Tactical Baby Gear, uh, was growing rapidly and I couldn't devote enough time and attention to it and I knew that I needed to um, because again, economically, it just made sense for me to focus on that and quit doing cars, um, but I had to finish the projects that we had started. So I finished all that stuff and then I transitioned Instagram from Fortified Concepts to Beef Brody and I kind of like laid low. I made some posts that, you know, content was gonna be changing and things like that, but I've never really felt right posting a lot of my other content or other things on that platform because most of the people there were for, were there to see cool car stuff. And then I was posting stuff about business and things like that. So, you know, I, wanted, I want this video to explain to a lot of you guys that are watching from Instagram, like why the content changed, what I'm up to now, and how I still want to help a lot of you out. Got some of you that are in, um, in business for yourself. So like all of my content now that I'm pushing out through this channel are, is business related stuff. It's how to like helping you guys grow your business. We've built a very large successful company and I want to help you guys uh, be able to achieve the same thing whether that's in the car business or really any, it applies to any any other business really. But um, this channel, if you go back and look at the tutorials and you go back and even the vlogs, there's just like tons and tons of knowledge around marketing and e-commerce, really specifically e-commerce and, and uh, marketing, but there's just, there's tons of golden nuggets throughout these videos that'll help you. Like where people are constantly sending me packages to say, dude, thank you so much for that video. Like I, I got tons of value out of it, I'm saying. Oh, I don't really know what's in that package. We'll open it up in a minute and see, but somebody that is sending me something to say thank you because they're, everybody's getting so much information out of these videos. So if that's you and you're interested in business, marketing, or even just check out what I'm up to, um, you know, go, go back and start watching some videos, subscribe to the channel so that you can see what I'm up to, you know, in the future and things like that. So that is what's happening on the channel currently. I'm gonna be posting more and more on Instagram on my personal page about more of this stuff. Um, and you know, if you wanna stick around for it, cool. I would love to have you around. If not, and you wanna unfollow because you don't care about it, that's cool too. 
uh, there's not going to be a lot of car content uh, on there. I still have my shop, which is really cool. So, I mean, there could be some stuff. I'm using my shop. I'm fortunate enough to be able to have kept my shop. I'm not, it's not open for business, but I do still have it. And uh, we're using that really for uh, product development, other stuff. I've got other products that we're working on uh, in the background, other brand ideas and things like that. So we're using that to, uh, to manufacture prototypes and stuff like that. So, uh, which I'm documenting as well. Uh, there's something in a lot of the videos, there's updates on Project X, which is the current, current thing we're working on. It doesn't have a name yet, other than Project X. So there's that. Uh, let's open this. Open this up. This is from Vigilant and Humble. I thought it was T-shirts. Cool. Oh, sick. That's rad. And last but not least. It's my favorite color t-shirt to wear, by the way. Um, Vigilant and Humble, thank you very much for the t-shirts. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'm glad that you're getting something out of my videos. Um, that's it, guys. I don't want anything else from you guys. I just want I just want you guys to, uh, to get some value. I feel, uh, I almost feel guilty with the level of success that we've had to where I feel like I need to share that information and knowledge uh, and help all you guys out. That's, that's the truth of it there is like, Nothing in any of this, any of the content I'm putting out, other than some respect from you guys and uh, me knowing and getting messages from you guys that uh, I helped you out and that, that you, my videos are making a difference in your life. Uh, he also sent me another package from Vigilant and Humble with a bunch of stickers. A bunch of stickers. This is really cool. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope this video made sense to you. Uh, it, nothing sexy here, no cool trips, no crazy anything, not a bunch of information. Um, but the rest of the videos will come uh, and we'll get back to all that kind of stuff here in the near future. Uh, my leg is still like messed up. Oh, let me give you a quick update on my leg. So I'm still in a wheelchair uh, in the office because I have to be on crutches, but I had surgery uh, a few weeks ago. I'll, uh, I'm gonna take my phone and get a video clip here of my leg and I'll insert it but uh, I went up to MUSC in Charleston surgery on my knee they had to take the broken section of my knee so my bone like cracked uh, across and then back over and this whole section was broken off and it was raised up so like the surface was uneven so they had to uh, go in break it back apart get rid of all the bone tissue that had started to grow back in between push it back down and then uh, put screws and plates and stuff uh, in it to hold it together. So the bone is in the right position now. It should heal in the correct position. All that stuff will stay in there. Um, I just can't put weight on it for six weeks. It's it's healing. It's healing well. It's annoying. Uh, it's very uncomfortable at times and hard to sleep. So that's the update on my knee. Uh, you probably don't care anyway. So I will stop yakking. It's been a long enough video. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.